hello welcome back to esp.net mvc tutorial i am ashish so this is part 10 of this video series so before proceeding i would like to suggest you to watch my previous videos that is part 9 of this video series in that video i just discussed about the razor view in an mvc okay so in this tutorial i am going to discuss about the html helper in an asp.net mvc application so here I will just create a form using HTML helper. So now you can see the uh, two example here: HTML dot action link, HTML dot text box four. So here HTML is the object of the HTML helper class, and the action link is the extension method for HTML helper class. Okay. So now we will see some important points. Then we'll move to the implementation part okay so HTML helper class just generate the HTML element using the model okay so its task is to create the HTML element like text box uh, checkbox etc okay so it's point the model object to the HTML element to display the value of model into HTML element so it just point the your model properties into your HTML so model suppose the model property has uh, uh, employee name okay so it it will just point it to the text box uh, with employee name okay and also assign the value of HTML element to the model properties while submitting a form so if you for, uh, if you submit your form then the text box value will be assigned to the model properties okay now uh, use HTML helper class in razor view instead of writing HTML tag manually so so you don't need to write uh, the HTML tag like uh, input type equal to text wagera wagera and uh, uh, you can use uh, HTML is an uh, object of HTML helper class as I already told you and symbol uh, at the rate symbol is used to access the server side uh, object in razor syntax okay so here you can see the example so so here if you write at the rate HTML dot action link then it will just create the HTML tag for you okay so it will just create generate anchor tag okay now here uh, you can find few uh, HTML helper method okay so we have action link text box text area checkbox radio button drop down list etc and you can bind the strongly type HTML helper means uh, with uh, HTML dot text text box 4 you you can just bind your model okay with it okay and now you can create the HTML control like if you want to create a text box then you will and just use HTML dot text box 4 okay so we'll uh, see in an ex practically it okay so my uh, my expected output would be this I will just create a drop down list a name field and address and I will just put a checkbox okay and uh, a button for this now let's open your Visual Studio okay so so first I need to create a drop down list so I need to bring uh, bring data from the server so just uh, I have created this uh, uh, department table so I will just find the department name dynamically okay so here I need a list of sorry a list of department department okay okay so I have created a list of list equal to uh, DB dot departments dot to list okay and now I will just put it into the view back okay so if you don't know about the 
uh, view back then definitely I would like to suggest you to watch my previous videos okay so department list I will say it and I will just put it in the department okay and now I will just copy this view back okay and now in the HTML okay so I will use my HTML helper okay dot drop down list for because here I'm gonna bind my model so in in the model see, you can see uh, just go to the definition and <coughs> okay the definition and you will see I have employee ID name department ID address and I have just added few more properties like department and and, and remember field okay so here I'm just gonna use lambda expression so your model implies this so this is the way and now it will just use your so I I just need department ID when user click on department name you can see here when user will click on department name then department ID will be delivered to it okay so now here you can see and now you can see it has the six overloaded method okay so I'm just uh, gonna paste view back to department and put as you need to define it uh, as select list item okay and you can see I in rebel select list item select list and uh, s object HTML attribute so now after this you can put HTML attribute or I'm just gonna give a select see my first option would be this and now you can see uh, you can see the next property is string option okay and now I will just put at the rate sorry new okay at the rate class equals okay and now here I will use the bootstrap classes so if you put form control then it will just decorate your text box okay so now here you can see uh, the first is the select list second is the option label okay and third is the object HTML attribute okay now one thing you need to do is you have just put the list of department but I need only select list okay which which will consist uh, ID and and a department name so I will just pass and now in the select list you can see what parameter I can pass uh, I in rebel items data value and data text so my I in rebel item will be my list and comma the value and the text okay so here in employee table my value would be department ID and the text would be department name okay so now now let's run this project
okay so here you can write your text box you I will just create a text box for different items now here you can see your drop-down list now it has IT QA development and marketing okay now you can see IT QA development marketing okay and and now I will just create an HTML dot text box for so I am just using strongly bind it I want to just strongly bind it to the model so uh, now my next name is name and I will just use HTML attributes like classes class equal to form control okay and now just copy it paste so for address also okay now I want to create a checkbox so use a div okay and now give it a class checkbox so this is uh, basically a, a bootstrap syntax means uh, you can say if you use a div and uh, you if you pass a label then it and if you put a class checkbox then it will decorate your checkbox now I'm going to use the HTML helper dot checkbox for and now I'm going to buy my model here you can write anything here m employees that m dot uh, your remember field so it must be a bool okay now you don't need to pass anything and secondly I would like to create a sorry for button I will just create a input type equals to submit okay and value equals value equal to submit okay and now you just give a name check out this okay so this is your label and this is your checkbox bind it now control KD now refresh your web page and let's see what's going to create so here you can see and now one thing you can also pass the placeholder so put it at the red sign placeholder equals now I will just put a name and now we just copy this put a comma and uh, what is your address okay now refresh this okay so here this is your name address and this is your drop down and this is your checkbox okay S and if you are new, new to uh, bootstrap then watch my bootstrap tutorial videos now I will just decorate it with button space btn dash uh, button block and btn primary okay now refresh this so this is my form and uh, as per the expected output you can see 
okay so now in this uh, in the next tutorial we will just submit this form and we will just collect all the data submitted by this form okay so basically HTML at uh, this uh, HTML helper class is strongly binded here so uh, if I submit the form then uh, if I write something here and I will just submit the form then model uh, it will go to this model and I will just get the name property in the model okay so I will just get uh, the model name here okay so now here you can see and if you inspect it then you will see a general input type equal to form control select list okay class equal to form control okay so this is basically input it's converting into the basic HTML controls okay that's it thanks for watching my tutorial and like it comment and don't forget to subscribe and share okay thank you very much bye bye have a great day